where Michael pours a little bit of the liquid nitrogen on the ground, what will happen is it'll evaporate very quickly. So can you do that? Okay. So when a gas goes from a liquid to a, or when, when something goes from a liquid to a gas, what happens to its volume? It expands. And what happens, how, is that process endo or exothermic, going from liquid to gas? Does it require energy or does it give off energy? It requires energy, so it's endothermic, right? To go from a liquid to a gas, okay? Evaporation is an endothermic process. So what we're gonna do is partially fill this Coke bottle with liquid nitrogen, and I'm gonna put the cap on it. Once I put the cap on, it becomes a time bomb because the liquid nitrogen is going to start evaporating, evaporating, evaporating. That's going to increase, increase, increase the pressure inside the bottle until the bottle explodes. Okay, and the, when it increases that pressure, it's also increasing its volume. It wants to increase its volume so much that it's going to increase its volume right through the bottle and explode it. That's going to produce work, pressure, volume, work. And you're going to see as a result of that work, what we have here is a, a container half full of water. As a result of that work, it's going to be able to push the water up into the air. So you should hear an explosion, and then you should see some water being pushed up into the air. Okay? So we're going to fill this up. Wait a second. Okay, back into the classroom.